What's up, Yup Gang? It's your boy Texan, and welcome back to Yup DBSD Things. And today we're going over another very exciting deck for all Fall Guys. This is going to be a deck that went 3 1 at our last locals. This is Reboot Cell. But before we get into it, guys, I do want to say if you guys want any custom mats and or sleeves, absolutely check out Pro Mats, guys. This is the best place to go get your custom card needs, and if you guys do decide to get a mat from them, make sure you guys use the promo code YUP to save on your entire order. With that being said, if you guys enjoyed this list or my content in general, remember to hit all those buttons for me, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss a video. And with that being said, let's turn it around and check it out. Alrighty, you guys, and here we are with the deck going 3 1 today in our four round tournament at our locals playing his Cell Expert or Reboot or whatever that you want to call it. Ultimate, deck. Deck, ultimate deck. Anyways, with that being said, go ahead and tell us about your matchups today and, of course, your deck profile. Alright, so Ultimate Deck 2022. Yeah. Um, reboot of a set 2 leader. He's great. Active main once per turn, place an Android card from hand under it. Show to draw one card, then show it to one of your opponent's battle cards, and cost three or less and KO it. Awaken, either at four or less, or when there are three or more cards under him. Draw one, ready one, go down to five life. Other side, auto, place an Android card from your hand under him. When he attacks, you draw two. Active main, once per turn, place two cards from under him into the drop area. Show it to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it, and he gains plus 5,000 power and critical. So he is designed to generate you hand advantage with the auto, and to control your opponent's board and make sure you don't get any cards from their life every time he attacks. So, green leader. I am running four Shocking Death Ball, um, Spark Negate, green leader, KO two or less. Easy. My super combo, I'm just going to get it right out of the way. I'm running four of the Android 18 Bionic Blitz. Set nine. Blue-green super combo. Um, fill your card is blue or green. When you combo with it, your opponent has to bottom deck a card. Great for hand control. Great because it's always active. And it just disrupts what your opponent is trying to do. It's an 18 too, so it could be useful for Union Absorbs. Yep. We'll get into that later. Um, green leader. We have Unison Package for Dormants. Four Charismatic Villains. And our Unison of Choice is SS3 Vegito. So like he said, this is th this is a union-based deck. That's what Cell naturally wants to do. We're all familiar with what, I feel like we're all familiar with what Dormant and Frieza do. Um, there's good green cards. Uh, Vegito, once a turn when you activate union, draw a card, plus two, choose all your mono green battle cards and gain revenge until the, end, until the start of your next turn. Minus seven, if your leader card is mono green, look at your opponent's life, place one card from among it into their into your opponent's drop area. They shuffle their life, then choose three cards in their hand and discard them. That is a powerful skill, especially on a two specified 15k plus two unison. So if you play him turn two and he sticks, that's two, four, six, seven. So on um, so five turns later, you get the minus seven, and that's if you don't do any unison. Growth. He is a very big threat, and that auto is great for this deck. Comes off before the turn you played, goes to six the next turn. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. So by turn five, you should be able to get that off. Yeah. So, this cell leader came with a few cards that are really good for him. Android 17 absorption imminent. Um, auto, when he is played, look up to five cards from the top of your deck. Add up to one green Android card from among them to your hand, then shuffle your deck. Activate main, if your leader card is a mono green cell card, place this card under your leader card. So, one drop searcher, and then he goes under your leader to help fuel your awakening and this activate main score. Counterpart to him, Android 18 absorption imminent. This one's a cantrip, one drop, once she's played, draw a card, same activate main as the 17. And then there was also an Android 17 and 18 absorption imminent. Unique, critical, auto limit one if your leader card is a green Android card. When your opponent's battle, when your opponent's battle cards is KO'd by one of your skills, you may play this card from your hand. He's only a 10k, but he does. They're only a 10k. They do have crit, um, so they can be pretty good, especially if you're willing to combo with the card from hand. And activate main if your leader card is a mono green cell card. Place this card under your leader card and draw one card. Um, does this say from battle area? No, it just says place, but since it doesn't say like place from place from a specific area to a specific area, they have to be in the battle area for those activate main skills to be activated. 
So 17, 18, 17 and 18. Along with all of those, we also got new self unit absorb cards. So they both have unique, they're both 4Ks, they're both one drops. Um, they both have the same union absorb, limit one. If your leader card is a cell card and, you're, and you place 117 card from your drop area under this card, um, play up to one multicolor cell card with a cost of four from your deck or drop area on top of this card, then shuffle your deck if you look through it. Same union absorb skill on both of them. They're different. Obviously, they're two different cards, so you can use both their union absorbs in one turn, just only once each. This one, activate main if your leader card is is green and you have a unison card in play and your opponent has no battle cards in play, play it from your hand in rest mode. Auto if your leader card is a cell card. Um, when an opponent's battle card is killed by your leader by your leader card skill, you may play this card from your hand in rest mode. So they both play from hand in rest mode for different conditions, but they're free. And I say they both absorb 17, so that's what the 17s are good for. So that plays a four drop multicolor cell. Now I'm running a split here. I've got two cell perfection reclaimed and three cell dawn of despair. So this one is from the ultimate deck. This one is from the expert deck for cell. So you absorb for one, choose one Android 18 card in your drop area and place it under this card. Choose up to one cell card with an energy cost of eight from your deck or hand. Play it on top of this card in active mode, then shuffle your deck if you look through it. And an auto, if you have four more energy, when this card is removed from a battle area by a skill, play up to one. Choose up to one cell card with an energy cost of eight in your drop area and play it. So, these one drop cells play in rest mode. This cell plays the next one on top of it in active mode. So that that's a great way for one energy to turn your free play into an attack without having to use other cells. This is a new ultimate deck one. This one has barrier, another thing that sets apart from this. You can also evolve for one green on Android 17. You need to absorb limit one, pay a green if your leader card is a cell card, and you place one Android 18 card from your drop area under this card. Play up to one multicolor cell card with an energy cost of eight. No. Play up to one multicolor cell card with an energy cost of eight from your deck or drop area on top of this card, then shelter your deck and field through it. Auto when this card is played from your deck or hand, draw one card. So, when you use their skills to play it from your hand, or from your deck, you draw a card, um, he has barrier, but he doesn't play the, the eight drop on top of it in active mode. That is the key difference between these two. And the reason I'm running both, because we've got the new eight drop cell from the ultimate deck. He has a skill to restand himself. But I'm also running the old multicolor cell from the ultimate deck. Or from the expert deck. So the new cell, cell and ending torrent. Energy exhaust blocker evolves for three on an Android 18. Permanent, if this card would be removed from your battle area by an opponent's skill, you may place two cards from under this card into their owner's drop. From under this card in their owner's drop areas instead. And then activate battle once per turn if the leader card is a cell card and you place one card from under this card into, into its owner's drop area. Switch his card to active mode so he can restand once per turn. He has an effect to save himself. If you go through the full chain, that's four cards under him minimum. I don't know, don't know if there's any way to get more under him without purposefully whipping the Union Absorb skills. But he is overall a great card. And then the old from the expert deck, Cell Perfection Misspent. Energy Exhaust. When this card is played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. Auto, choose one Android 18 card under this card and place it in its owner's drop area. When your opponent attacks, um, hang on. When your opponent's card attacks, negate the attack, then shoot up to one green yellow multicolor cell card there and cost a four under this card. Play it and place this card in its owner's drop area. So when this card was released originally, we did not have these cards. So you had this cell to play this cell. So you could not recur it. Now, with the addition of this cell, who plays it from drop area, you have infinite recursion of this card for one energy, and that is an auto negate to negate the attack that dormant does not negate when you activate its counter skill. Obviously, you could also use the blocker cell um, to the same effect, but 
this cell constantly replace itself with Union, so you always have a card, to, always have a skill to draw a card. The only issue is he doesn't have any sort of self protection or way to protect himself like this one does. It's a neat idea, but for the most part, it doesn't come up. So that one I'm a little iffy about. This is great. Being able to get a free play and being able to play the card in active mode is amazing. I love using this card to play this one and this card to play this one, ideally. But that is my Cell Union Resort package. Like he said, the 18 Super Combo can also be used for his Union Resort effect. And I am running one more Android 18 that goes with another package that I have. Two of Perfection's Prey. Um, permanent, if you have five or less cards in your hand, reduce the, energy co reduce the combo cost of this card in your hand and battle area by one, so it becomes a zero plus ten, so a super combo. Activate main, pay a green if your leader card is a cell card and, the, and you only have cell cards in your battle area. Play her from your drop area and you can't play um, copies of her for the turn. Yeah, another copy is card for the turn. So basically, not quite a limit one, because it also prevents you from like hard casting or using other skills to play it. But... If you have Cell in play, it only sells in your battle area. She comes out for one. She is in here because I'm also running Super 17 Relentless Absorption. Three drops, successor for a green or a yellow. Union Absorb Limit 1 for green or yellow. If your leader card is an Android card and you have four more energy. Um, hang on. You may place up to one Cell card from your Darker Drop area under this card. If you do, you have to one Super 17 Cell Absorb or Super 17 Health Storm Unleashed in your Decker hand. Play it with its keyword skills negated for the turn, then shuffle your deck and feel it through it. And I'm not running the... Uh, I'm only running this Super 17. This is from set five. Um, critical, dual attack, deflect. Obviously that's all negated if you use the turn you use this Union Absorb. Auto, sparking 10. When this card attacks, if your card is a green Android card, your opponent chooses two cards in their hand and places them in their drop area. So the turn you play him off Union, that's two cards. If he sticks, the next turn he has dual attack, that's four cards of both of his attacks. Land. And he has crit, so he doesn't give your opponent hand advantage. This is a very powerful card in set five. I didn't end up being able to use this chain during this tournament, and it's very clunky, especially because all of these are one plus tens with all of the multicolor cards. But it's an idea, and if it goes off, it is extremely detrimental to your opponent. Rounding off the deck, I'm running two Cell the Ultimate Bio Android. 30k deflect dual attack. Um, we'll start at the bottom. Activate main limit one, pay a blue, a green, and two any. Play this card from your hand or energy, and this card gains double strike for the turn. Auto when this card is played from your energy, choose all of your opponent's battle cards and place them at the bottom of the zone stacks. Auto once per turn if this card is it. If this card is in a battle, when your opponent activates a counterattack skill, they place one card from your hand at the bottom of their deck. This is a great game ender. Dual attack, double strike the turn he's played, force your opponent to bottom deck a card if they want to activate a counter. Bottom decks your opponent's entire board, so you board white, which again, if your opponent has no battle cards in play, not him. You can play him for free, assuming you have the energy left, and get that whole chain. I've done that before. He's just a great deck, and he's his own blue energy, so you don't need to run any other any other blue in the deck. Finally, our secret rare. I went with Cell Max. I was debating Cell Zeno, but obviously I don't have a way of getting up to 12 in this deck. Um, or I probably do. Yeah, technically. Point, Cell Max, Bluer of Despair, Ultimate, Quadruple Strike, Permanent if you have Fear Less Energy. This card can't attack and can't be removed from your battle area. Auto. If a skill would remove this card from your battle area, um, choose up to or choose all of your opponent's battle cards in order to KO them, then place up, then place one card from your opponent's life into their drop area. And activate main pay green for your cards, green place card from your hand. One drop quadruple strike. This card is extremely busted. His only balancing factor is his permanent. Um, so he can't be played until you he can't be used until you have four more energy. But he is a huge threat. And obviously you get rid of him, you crit a life. And, yeah. It's a very, very powerful secret. All right, yes. with that being set up, what was your matchup today? My first match was against Supreme Kai of Time. 
Um, I ended up losing that one. Um, it was going relatively okay, but I wasn't able to put the pressure on to finish the game before Kai could do this, before Kai did it to me. Um, and obviously this deck isn't super hand controlly. I can only KO a couple of things per turn, and my only flood negate is dormant. It it didn't go very well. I probably could have if I'd seen my unison earlier and gotten my Frieza out, but could have. Didn't, obviously. Game two was against Android 21, and I ended up playing this cell, cell max pretty early on, and he bottomed it, or he got rid of it, so I ended up printing him the light, bring him down to three. And I did end up um, losing that one, but he gave me the win for the tournament. It was very close, though. It, it could have gone either way. Game three was against Turles, uh, Green Turles. So immediately I have Tree of Might. Um, couldn't play Perfection's Prey. Um, ended up drawing both of my Super 17 Cell Absorbs, so I couldn't play those off the Union skill. So that whole chain ended up being dead. I did barely managed to get the win by comboing out of his last attack and being able to crit him for one and double strike him for the other, for his last two life. And my final game was against... What deck was he playing? Your finals, this was the most recent match. I know. <laughs> Blue Bojack. Play against Blue Bojack. He was playing very defensively. He didn't attack me much. I ended up being able to awaken turn two just barely, getting enough androids. And I did my whole thing. I played all my cells out. Um, the deck ran super smoothly. Um, I dormanted him every turn. It, it was, it went great for me, and he didn't attack me. So in the early turns when I couldn't or probably wouldn't dormant him, and I was able to get the game with Cell Max, he got down to the point where he had one card left in hand. Um, and I swung with Cell Max for game. Quad paid one for him and quadruple strike. <laughs> one energy quadruple strike for game. Yes, it is extremely busted. And I mean, this deck can just as easily play Cell Zeno, which is free and rips three cards when you're when it, when it's played. But that one requires you to have five more energy to get its full effect. This guy can come out at any time. So I've played him turn two, turn three, and just let him sit there. All menacingly. And then, um, so you play him during an earlier turn and start swinging with him afterwards. And he doesn't require anything else on board. He can be the only card in your hand and you can still play him. Which is one thing that makes him superior. It's really up in the air. It's either or. It's personal preference, really. Alrighty, so with that being said, that was your deck list. Do you have any final shout outs today? Oh, yeah, you Hang got on. Z Z deck. I have a Z, Z, Z deck. deck. Um,. So I don't have a lot of the good green Z battle cards. I have one of the S's Sun Goku Awakened by Rage. I don't even know what he does. <laughs> when he's played until the end of your opponent's next turn, this card gets plus 5,000 power and can't be moved from battle area by skills. That's pretty good. And the other two are for green Gokus. So he becomes a one drop, two Z energy, 15k that can't be moved from battle area by skills. Um, he's green. That's why he's in here. I could see him being really good against decks that have a lot of mid-battle removal to guarantee that final damage since he can't be gotten rid of. Obviously, he can still be necked, so red would could still kill him, but anything else, yellow could negate his skills. But, or no, yellow wouldn't work because this auto is not permanent. It's an auto that activates, so yeah. He is, in, red is the only color that can get rid of him once he's played until that skill wears off. But I'm running three Frieza's. Uh, Frieza Resurrect and Ambition. Deflect, double strike once cards played. So, when your opponent's battle cards fire, let's KO it. Once per turn, place a card from your zero energy into your drop area. Um, one of your other battle cards. Battle cards, green battle cards, and energy cost two or more attacks. Your opponent discards one card from their hand. This deck has a lot of two or mores. Um, actually, almost the entire deck is two drop or more. And obviously, with Cell Max, that put that gets rid of a card that they could need. You can do it with your eight drops. It, it's a very useful green utility card. Ideally, probably Jiren's, um, maybe. I'd probably just do the one go, but Jiren's, another Frieza. But I was actually gonna ask you, how do you feel about the Dohan Structure deck, one drop Frieza? 
essentially just a one for one, a one energy, one Z energy blocker. He's green as well, so I was just figuring. Oh, is he a blocker? He is a blocker. He I also, didn't realize. He pair very well with your unison of choice. Yeah, I. You know what? I didn't realize he was a blocker. I only bring here. this up because I see in one of our other uh, self players yeah, no, at our locals that, doing that same thing. That would be that. That would actually be a really good card with the stack. Um, so yeah. With that being said, do you have any final shoutouts? To you guys for being here, for letting us show off these ideas, and uh, to Jesters for hosting us. Absolutely. Shout out to Jesters, the best locals around. With that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this deck profile. If you did, make sure you show us love and definitely the pilot of this deck some love in the comments. Definitely hit those buttons for us. We will see you guys next time.